Here in the database, in order to produce my backpack, I have a bill of materials type subcontracting where I define the company who will produce the backpack for me. To keep it simple, I have only one component, which is a badge. Checking the lead times first for my final product, we see here in the inventory tab that we have the customer lead time of 15 days, as we have here, and then the manufacturing lead time of 10 days, which is this time, the start and end date of the manufacturing process done by my subcontractor. And we have in the purchase tab, the lead time of 15 days, which is the total time to confirm the purchase order to my subcontractor and the dropship of this final product to my client. Going to the component level uh, is here. We see here in the badge that we only have the purchase lead time, so five days, and then this is related to this lead time over here. So the five days of my vendor and the 10 days of my subcontractor totalize the 15 days of my subcontractor and customer lead time. For the purpose of this video, I created two operation types and two routes, which I will not explain. But just to mention that this is important in order to have all this process being drop shipped directly from the supplier to the subcontractor and the subcontractor to the client. So starting a new sales, I will create something here for my backpacks. And here, this is something important because Odoo is already considering the customer lead time to suggest the expected date that I can promise to my client. So here, August 31st, if I try to promise before, it's not possible. So I must have at least August 31st as my lead time or my delivery date. And then when I confirm this sales order, I have my first purchase order to my subcontractor. And here, as we can see, we have August 31st as the expected delivery date to my client and the order deadline as today. So in order to have all this process being done on time, I must confirm my purchase order today. So by doing that, I have here my dropship from a subcontractor directly to my client, Azure Anterior. And then I can see here in the inventory overview, if I check the archived route subcontracting, that now my schedule date has been calculated accordingly, considering this new information of manufacturing lead time. But what is important here is when I check my replenishment, as my vendor lead time is five days, so considering the subcontracting order started the, or scheduled to be started on August 31st plus the five days of my vendor lead time, I can see that today, August 16, I have a forecast of minus 10 badges, so I can trigger the resupply process to drop ship directly from my supplier to my subcontractor. And if I go to my purchase app, I can see that now I have a second purchase order and I must confirm this purchase order today in order to have my vendor delivering or drop shipping the components directly to my subcontractor still on time. It means August 21st. So my subcontractor will be able to produce my backpacks on time until August 31st and then drop ship directly to my client. So I will confirm here. And again, I have a specific operation type to drop ship directly from supplier to subcontractor. And then going back here to my inventory app, I can pro finally process the last document, which is subcontractor to customers. And all of this will be done on time. So thanks for watching and that's all for this video.